Okay, next item up, we have a proclamation related to human trafficking awareness. Those folks in the audience here for that item can join me. So uh, we have advocates from the police department here with us today and some gentlemen here from uh, Bikers Against Trafficking and they'll speak to you in just a moment. So the city of New Smyrna Beach uh, is doing a proclamation today to proclaim Human Trafficking Awareness Day. This is a proclamation I hope one day we don't have to do anymore. <laughs> it's, it's amazing that in 2021 we're still doing uh, this proclamation but hopefully with the good effort of folks like yourselves and you all and many others in the community uh, we can put an end to this terrible thing in our lifetimes. So as well as human trafficking is the recruitment, harboring, transportation, provision, or obtaining of a person for labor or services through the use of force, fraud, or coercion for the purpose of forced labor or sexual servitude. And whereas human trafficking is a $32 billion a year global criminal enterprise and is a crime as well as a civil and human rights violation, and an estimated 25 million people are currently victims of human trafficking for both sex and labor. Whereas human traffickers prey on their victims by promising a life of hope and greater opportunity while delivering only enslavement. Instead of delivering people to better lives, traffickers unjustifiably profit from the labor and toil of their victims who they force through violence and intimidation to work in brothels and factories, on farms and fishing vessels, in private homes and in countless industries. Whereas New Smyrna Beach is a vibrant city home to over 27,000 residents and host to 8 million guests who have the right to hope, freedom, economic security, safety, and the pursuit of happiness. And this month, we do not simply reflect on this appalling reality. We also pledge to do all in our power to end the horrific practice of human trafficking that plagues innocent victims, not only around the world, but in our own neighborhoods. Whereas more awareness and education is crucial to eradicating human trafficking in our communities, state, and nation. And I want to pause. This is something it is okay to talk about. If you see something in an airport, in, in, a, in a, a rest stop on the interstate, this is something that is okay to talk about. It's okay to ask questions. It's okay to get involved. I'd rather be wrong and a little bit intrusive than to be right but have done nothing. So... <clears throat> So as well as Human Trafficking Awareness Day is observed on January 11th in municipalities across the country in order to educate the public and raise awareness about human trafficking. And the city of New Smyrna Beach has a strong commitment to social justice. Now, therefore, we do proclaim January 12th, 2021 as Human Trafficking Awareness Day in the city of New Smyrna Beach and urge our residents, uh, agencies, and champions to support efforts and take action to end human trafficking. And I've set my hand this 12th day of January 2021. We have a couple of as many organizations that uh, address and tackle and provide different services in this. We have a couple of representatives from one of those that are here with us tonight. We'll tell you just briefly about what they do for this cause, and we'll take some pictures. Thank you, Mayor. My name is Huck Mallory, and this is Flip Tumorello. We are with Bikers Against Trafficking. I'm the president of the Mid Florida Chapter, and, uh, and Flip is our vice president. We're also uh, members of the uh, board of directors for the international chapter. We're a four-year-old organization but our local chapter is boots on the ground for this area. Um, a lot of misconceptions about uh, human trafficking, but the one thing that you need to know is that Florida is rated number three in activity in, in human trafficking. And 85% of the people that are trafficked in the United States are American citizens. It is close to home, it is in every neighborhood, in every school, and we're here to try to help one. And if we can help one and get them off uh, the streets into a home, get them started on a new life, then we're gonna help one more. We need your help. If you see something, please say something. The number that you need to know is 888-3737-888. Real simple, 888-3737-888. Thank you. Thank you. I'd also say, uh, Chief, correct me if I'm wrong, but 911 is also a good number to call if you see something, to say something, and they have, a, they have connections to these other advocacy groups. So if you can't remember that number, 911 local local law enforcement's also well versed in this so all right we'll take some pictures Phil